Okay, so you guys, um, we are going to pin these two. So you have your two layers. We're going to pin them together. So to pin them together, we need to take and put the right sides in. So I'm going to take this and align it to this one and make them match up. Now, if I just take them like this and I expect them to match themselves up, they're not going to match up very well like by themselves. See how edges are poking out? So I'm going to use my fingers selecting pins. Now, when I do the pins, I like to color code them. So I get two pins to mark where my opening is going to be that are a different color. And then like for this one, I'll have five, six, seven yellow pins and two white pins. And the white pins are going to mark the open where the opening where I start and stop. And the yellow pins are going to mark the rest of it. So when I lay these together and I try to put them together, notice how the edges do not automatically match up. Okay, they're not gonna automatically match themselves. So I am going to um, use my smart fingers. These are my smart fingers, okay? I'm gonna use those to match up the layers. So you take your fingers and you match those layers exactly so that you can't see either, either color poking out. Okay, then you're, when you take your pin, you're going to pin your pin in so that it is perpendicular to the edge. So I'm going to take this, make sure the layers are matched up exactly. Then I'm going to pin with a little pin prick right, it's about a quarter inch in from the edge. Okay, so the pin prick is right there. Okay, now I'm going to make a pinwheel. I'm going to make it look like a pinwheel. So I'm going to have a pin going up here, then I'm going to shift it. I'm going to have a pin going up here on the right side. And I'm going to have a pin going up here on the right side and a pin going up here on the right side. So it will look like a pinwheel. So I take my smart fingers. Notice how the edges aren't naturally matching. I'm going to match them together with my fingers, put them together and make them match exactly. Then I'm going to stick my pin in about a quarter inch from the edge. The pin is coming out one quarter the pin is coming out perpendicular from that corner okay then i'm going to turn it and do this corner okay match the layers okay and i'm going to pin she just added extra to my background noise okay and then I'm going to layer, pin it here, okay, and pin it the same. So every pin is pinned in about a quarter inch from the edge with a little pin prick. Now what I see beginners do with their pins is they go like this and they either put it in like this or they put it in like this or they put it in like this to hold the layers. When you pin, when you pin it with a really deep pin prick, like it's not a little pin prick, it's not holding the layers together very effectively. So you have to make sure that you pin it with a little tiny pin prick to hold it, hold it right where the stitch is gonna be, okay? Um, the other thing is, is if I pin it like this and, the, and I'm sewing along and I come to the head of the pin, the pin gets in the way. So I don't wanna hit that pin with my presser foot or get it in the way or get it stuck or have to pull it out because it's really hard to pull out. Okay, stop when you it. begin stitching, come over this way. Okay, when you begin stitching, you're gonna start right here at this white pin, right, right here at the white pin, and you're going to stitch till you get to this corner, and then you're going to pivot at the corner when you get, and the seam allowance will be one quarter inch. So when you get to the corner, you you'll remove the pin, and then you'll pivot, and you'll go down this way, and when you get to this corner, you'll pivot. Take the pin out, uh, go this way till you get to this pin, go this way till you get to this pin, and then and then after the fourth corner, you're going to pivot and you'll get to this pin. So at the beginning you're going to back stitch, and at the end you're going to back stitch, and it will leave an opening between these two pins.